Hi everyone, I'm Jeff Maricola, fantasy artist and illustrator, and welcome to my Muddy Colors Art Tip of the Month. My oil painting process involves a lot of glazing. And by glazing, I mean I apply a thin layer of color to an already dry paint layer in order to create a new or richer color. Recently, I gave a painting demo at my illustration intensive workshop where I showed my initial color block in. Basically, it's my underpainting stage. In order to speed up the drying time of that underpainting, I created a medium to mix into my oil paints that was made up of one part linseed oil to one part liquid. Liquid is the medium that speeds up the drying time of the oil paints. But now I'm back in my studio. My underpainting is dry and it's ready for me to begin the next layer, which includes glazing. The only medium I mix into my oil paints at this stage is linseed oil. Since I used liquid in the underpainting, there's no need for me to add it to this stage because this layer will dry faster simply because that underpainting had liquid in it. Once I apply my glaze, I then begin to work back into it with opaque paint to build out or sculpt the form. Some areas don't get worked back into. For those areas, I am simply letting the previous layer show through this new layer of thin paint. So you might be asking, why should I glaze, Jeff? Well, you don't have to. You could create your painting all in one sitting, working a la prima or wet on wet. Or you could simply work opaquely over each dry layer instead of glazing with thin transparent washes of color. However, if you haven't used glazing techniques in your work, I encourage you to give it a try because glazing can give your colors a luminosity that can't be achieved in other ways. There's something magical that happens with your painting when you glaze thin layers of color over another. Some of that underlying color shows through and the combination of the two can create a whole new color that also can't be achieved by normal color mixing methods. This painting will go through a number of stages. It's very common for my oil paintings to get five or more layers of glazed color, but as I get closer to the final stages, each glazed layer will get worked back into with opaque paint less and less. Now, obviously this method of working requires a lot of time and patience as you have to wait for a layer of paint to dry completely before you can glaze over it. Now, because of this, I am always working on multiple paintings, each in different stages of drying, so I have something to work on every day. So if you think you have the patience for it, give glazing a try the next time you sit down to work on an oil painting. And yes, acrylic painters can also use glazing techniques in their process. But that's another video for another day. Thanks for watching.